there, boys and girls. I kind of wanted to introduce a little quick math lesson as I usually do before lunch with the SKs as we are going to prepare for perhaps more instructional time in grade one. And knowing that we will still be at home for the month of May, I'd like you to have some more understanding about math concepts. And before we move on, to any other operations, I'd like you to fully understand the meaning of addition. Addition, joining two or more groups together. So just as I would write different words on our chart, I wrote addition. Addition means to join two or more groups. And so we're gonna start with addition stories and we can make up stories all the time and there are stories happening in our everyday. So take a look at your everyday and look for the addition stories when you're joining two or more groups. I'm gonna start off by saying, I can see three stars way up in the sky. And they look so beautiful. Then I looked over to the other side and I saw two more. Oh my. If I join those two groups together, I can use the word and. What happens at the end of our story? So our story has a beginning. A middle. And the end. Okay, let's start again. At the beginning of my story, I saw three beautiful stars in the sky. And then I looked towards the other side and I saw two more. Now, now, the end of my story, there are how many stars? Well, if I count here, one, two, three. I had three at the beginning and I saw two more. What do, how many, the big question, how many do I see in total? Well, of course, I could move all of these over for the end of my story. There was three at the beginning. I moved the two. And at the end of my story, now I see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I should be using this hand, right? Five. So three and two more is five. Now I can write my, this is my sentence right here, my numbers and words. Now how many? Hmm, we now know it is five because I moved the beginning and the middle over to the end. So then I can write, of course, my uh, equation. And I showed you two ways to write an equation. Well, you can write it this way, three, and the symbol for and is plus. Two is in the middle of our story, more joined, oh, two more stars I saw over there and then equals all together is five. So this is our equation. We can call it an equation 
or our number sentence. So I call this a number sentence in kindergarten, but eventually in grade one, you'll use the word equation. So here's our sentence, the beginning of our story, and then the middle of their story, and then the end of our story. So we're gonna tell some stories. So let's start another story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. I don't have my really good brush. Once upon a time. Okay. I'm just going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were four little birdies in the tree. Four little birdies in the tree. And then two more joined them. in the tree. So we need to know what happened at the beginning of the story. <gasps> How many birdies were in the tree at the beginning of the story? I'll write beginning right here. Do you remember? There were four little birdies. You could write the number four or you could draw four. You can do both. Then what happened in the middle of the story? <gasps> The middle, two more joined them. And so the big word is, for the end of the story, is how many? How many are there all together? How many birdies are in the tree all together? Well, we can write the number sentence four, plus two equals, let's count to see. We could start with four and add two more. Put four in your head and add two more. Four, five, six. Six birdies are in the tree. That is the end of the story. So the end of the story tells us how many? So I would just play this um, a lot every day before lunch. I would tell some stories. Oh, I have another story. And then I would just do this beginning, middle, and end. Once upon a time, there were five little children going for a walk. One, oh, two, three. One was standing on its head. Four. Five. And along came, oh my, two more. And they joined the group of five. Oh boy, this one's falling down. And this one, there we go. Oh, there we go. The end of the story, how many are walking down the street together? So the beginning of the story, how many children are walking together? We have, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. Then what happened in the middle of the story? Two more joined the group of five. So, how many is at the end of our story? How many? Let's join them all together and we can count them. Uh, one, I can start over here. One, two, three, four, they keep falling down. Five, I'm gonna double check to make sure that's five because they keep falling on me. Those silly little people. One, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven. Yay, I do have seven at the end of my story. So five and two is seven. Or I can write The number sentence 
five, and, which is the plus sign, plus two equals seven. So we can read this together. Five plus two equals seven. So that's the beginning of addition. In order to move on to subtraction, we have to fully understand how the story works. So we can see the relationships between the beginning, the middle, and the end. And seeing that the groups are joined. And we can also do more than two groups. We could also say, oh my gosh, they kept walking. They kept walking and guess what? Two more children joined them. Oh my. So there's many more parts to that story. I can say one, two, three, four, five, plus two more, plus two more. Oh my, how many do I have now? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have nine children walking together. That is beautiful. So then I could put the equal sign and put my number nine. So we can see that whatever's on this side mm, is the exact same amount on this side, right? So I have five people that started at the beginning of my story. I added two more, joined them, and then another two joined them. Oh my, this could keep going on and on and on. So boys and girls, addition is joining two or more groups together. You can have fun telling stories with your family and writing down your number sentences Five and two is seven. Using symbols, five and two equals seven. Or, and if you really want to get moving into grade one, you're going to be seeing five, then the two right underneath the five, the plus sign right beside the two. This is a really hard concept. And then we line up the answer right underneath. So they're all nice and lined up vertically. So we call this the vertical addition equation and the horizontal equation. I hope that gives you some guidance and help to help you have fun with just telling stories. And you could tell stories together. Mmm, there were four little frogs in the pond and then I saw two more jump into the pond and now there are how many? So what happened at the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and then the end of the story. Have fun! I would do this every day just before lunch. Just tell a story and write an equation down and collect them. Okay? Take care. Bye!